Okay guys, welcome back to your Dr. DIY channel. Today we are going to service this indoor unit. Okay, this so this is one horsepower. The model is green. These are the specification of the aircon. We have set to 16 and the fan we have basically full blown it and also we have put it to turbo. So what we are going to do now is we are going to record the wind speed. So as you can see, the average wind speed we can get is close to 3.22 meter per second. Uh, this is at full blown condition before servicing the indoor unit. Okay, so first things first, of course, we got to basically dismantle the unit. So leaving it on, we are going to go outside on the compressor side to lock the gas in the compressor. So this is the outdoor unit. So we are going to open up the cover and we are going to get to the proper tubes. Okay, so we are going to loosen up these two size 19. Take them off. One and then two. Okay, so once you take it off, inside there, there is an Allen key screw. So you must know which one to close it. Close it is clockwise, right? So you need to know which one. So it's very easy. It's normally the small copper pipe. So in order to see which is the one you just see whether you have the nipple to refill yes so this is the nipple to refill meaning which this you don't close it up you have to close the top one so we gently put it in and we turn clockwise all the way until it stop what happens now is the gas slowly is being trapped in the compressor which is inside here so we wait for a while until indoor is no more cold then we lock the second part okay so it's supposed to be at 16 but now it's at 26 degrees 10 degrees celsius okay so this inform that the gas has already been locked completely in the compressor so now we can proceed by locking the gas up okay so we are going to lock the gas up we put it here now we turn clockwise again until it stops turning okay so it's already been locked let's double check the top one okay this thing must be still on huh? now we go and off the aircon and we can start dismantling okay so we switch it off now it's good to go so we are going to dismantle the casing so you can see right you can see some the build up okay and you can also see how dirty is the door and you see that's why it's not giving you the speed which you want okay so you can see all the fungus and the dirt this is very harmful for your health okay this is very, very harmful for your health it's indoor and you're really all this so it's recommended for your eyes to service your indoor unit once a year okay depending on what you're saying if you're very dusty then you're going to remove it so okay so the rest of the things like that the indoor unit is a bit of it okay so uh, the output of the water hose as you can see it's being covered with plastic and also with plastic and also with plastic and also with plastic now we need to design the power so it's advisable for you to get 4 inch of the pipe so that you may hold the indoor unit such so this is what I so the pipe is being installed Okay, the coupling can be seen. Three size of common ring is needed. So this is 21, this is 19, this is 19, this is 14. This 14 and this 19, remember, they are welded to the copper pipe. Okay, so you do not turn this. You just hold the spanner here and you turn this coupling okay, the two coupling has been disconnected once the coupling is removed the entire unit now is ready to be brought down carefully and safely the copper pipe will be taped by black tape and this is the view of the interior cooling coil which is very dirty and following to this this is the view of the blower as you can see, it is all full of dust accumulated on the blower itself, which is making it impossible to blow out cold air from the indoor unit. And this is the view of the casing of the indoor unit. You can see uh, algae, you can see the build-up sludge. Okay, so the aircon has been fixed back together, has been assembled, has been tested doing a trial run to observe for any uncertainty for any unnecessary vibration or unnecessary noise so far it's good so now we are going to fix back the unit 
Okay, we have partially finished the installment. Okay, so we have already finished installing the copper piping. So before we can further proceed, what we're going to do now is we're going to on, we're going to release the gas and we're going to monitor if there is any leak. That is the correct way. Okay, so what we need to do is we slowly release the gas. So what happens now is the gas has been channeled to the coil and in the pipe now also contain atmosphere pressure. So we want to remove that. So before releasing the gas here, you have to take out some of the gas to push out the atmosphere gas out. Okay, that should do. So now eventually we can unlock this gas by going counterclockwise. Okay, so we apply some soap to see whether there is any bubble. So far, so good. Okay. So far, there is no any leaks. So now, we off the unit and we complete our installation process. Okay, so everything has been placed back together. Let it run about like 5 minutes. Then, we will measure the air output. Okay, we are going to measure the wind speed after servicing. So you can see significant improvement uh, from 3.2 to 5.2 meter per second. So guys, this video had shown you significant improvement of the wind speed of about 60% improvement after cleaning the indoor unit completely. So it is recommended to keep your indoor unit clean and maintain RV once a year. We hope this video has been useful to you. Thank you for your support. We wish you all the best and God bless you.